As the earnings season kicks off, Shiraz Mean of Zax.com is here to tell us what to expect. Good to have you on the show as always, Shiraz. Thanks for having me. So are we looking for negative growth from the S&P 500 companies overall? Uh, yes, a negative earnings growth, 6.2% uh, earnings decline year over year, uh, and uh, a little less than 1% top line decline. So this will be the fifth quarter in a row. Uh, of negative earnings growth for the index. And uh, energy's been a big drag for the last many quarters. Uh, but even if we take out all the ugliness associated with energy, it'll still be in the negative. Should investors be concerned about this? You know, it's been, it's been uh, a while since uh, the earnings picture has been kind of iffy. Uh, the, the hope is that uh, towards the end of uh, 2016, things turn around. It's always greener and sunnier the way uh, it is uh, out in the future. So the, the, the current hope is that, uh, yes, it's been bad the last few quarters, but we are hoping that things will turn around. So 2016 is effectively washed out. 2017, folks are looking for double-digit earnings growth Whoa. that then continues into 2018. Um, uh, hopes remain high, so uh, that's what everybody is uh, pinning uh, their hopes on. What do they see as hopeful out there just getting past this year? What could change? What will be the catalyst to start having positive growth again for companies? So one, one big uh, positive is that the drag that we have had from the energy sector would fade, so you wouldn't have uh, but the comparisons will get easier. The, the second hope is that finance, which is the biggest uh, sector within the index, uh, will start coming back into uh, earnings power, which has been held back for the last many years uh, by what the Fed has been doing. And so the hope is that uh, uh, towards the end of the year, uh, the Fed will uh, tighten again, and then they'll be a bit more active in 2017 and 18 which will improve the net interest margin, which is the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the major driver for finance sector earnings. So the hope is that finance, which hasn't really done much on the earnings front the last many years, will finally come back into its own and uh, give us this uh, double digit earnings growth. And then there's hope for technology and some of the other oh, sectors Oh sure, as well. what sectors are performing well or do you anticipate will perform quite well, maybe even, in this latest round of earnings? My, my sense is that expectations for finance are so low uh, that it'll be easier for these guys to come out. There might be some out. surprises. That's right. So the, uh, uh, the, the hope is that JP Morgan, Citibank of America, Wells Fargo, a number of these guys, estimates for them have really come down. And they have so many businesses that are hard to track in real time mm. uh, that uh, we'll see. We could see some positive surprises from from these big banks. What about healthcare and technology and, and consumer discretionary? You know, the healthcare uh, is is in a steady as you go kind of a mode. It doesn't really respond much to what's happening in the economy and such. The large pharma, obviously, they have major global sales, so the strong dollar has a bearing uh, on that. Technology is kind of a tale of two walls. You have these faster growing consumer oriented kind of operators, the Googles and the Facebooks off the wall, uh, and uh, companies that have the uh, uh, leverage to and exposure to the areas of technology that are doing better, big data, cloud, analytics, and all of that. Uh, so we have strong growth from those areas. And on the other hand, you have the, the, the legacy players, the IBMs, the Oracles, the Microsofts, the Intels, and those guys are struggling. Uh, and uh, I don't really see that, uh, that kind of uh, dual track outlook uh, mm -hmm. for, the, for the sector to change anytime soon. Okay, good to have you on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me.